What's up everybody, I'm just going to show you that a couple days ago I purchased a PlayStation Classic. Now you may or may not have heard of the controversy around the PlayStation Classic. Uh, when it first came out it was considered um, overpriced and not worth it and underpowered and yeah those are all pretty apt. Uh, it was originally retailed for $100 and if we look on the back there are 20 games, and the only ones really worth anything are, um, if you can see them on the box there, we've got Metal Gear Solid and Final Fantasy VII. we got other things like Rainbow Six, um, Grand Theft Auto 1, things that are somewhat interesting because of brand recognition. When you play them, they're just not fun. And there's a couple reasons for that. Okay, so number one is, again, this re originally retailed for $100. I got it for $20 at Best Buy. It is, that's not a sale price. That is just the markdown, meaning it's not a special sale that I got it on. That's just the normal standard price it's on. Probably the, just them trying to clear inventory. And they're actually selling pretty well. When I was in line, uh, there was at least a couple other people uh, who got them. In fact, this is not the only one I got. Um, one over there that I have set up, you can see it over there. Um, I got two. One I got for Tamo because he's out of town, and one for me. And um, games like Grand Theft Auto 1 and Rainbow Six seem like interesting picks as a novelty, but you find out that they are just awful and the reason for that is because at least in my opinion it's not because of the emulation or anything like that that is fine it's playable it's good um i'm not really someone who really cares about if emulation is exactly perfect as long as it looks and feels like the original game but the controller here is the original playstation controller without the analog sticks and most of these games are 3D and trying to play 3D games without analog sticks is very near impossible. I played most of the games on here and the only ones I would say actually play well are either games like Tekken 3 which don't even play as good as they could be they just play all right and you got games like Mr. Driller or um, if I can find it on here Super Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo plays all right because it's just a, it's a Tetris-like puzzle game, and Rayman also plays good too. And that's a, that's another game that's that's good on here. Um, I should also mention that I did not grow up playing PlayStation at all. Um, I, I was always more of an Xbox person, but I never had a PlayStation. I never knew anybody growing up who had a PlayStation One, so. I have no nostalgic connection to this, but I feel like even if you did, most people aren't being suckered in because this did not sell well. This is just Sony's attempt to jump on the whole classic console, Raspberry Pi micro console thing that Nintendo started off with the PlayStation Classic, uh, the NES Classic, excuse me, and the Super Nintendo Classic. Um, now, at 20 bucks, is it worth it? Yes. I wouldn't say um, that 20 bucks and you're going to get some sort of great experience out of it, depending really on how you just look at it, but I tried my best to like a lot of these games. Like Rainbow Six, I played for about a minute, and I just couldn't play because of how bad the controls are. Again, it's a first-person shooter, a 3D first-person shooter with no sticks it's it's just it's unplayable you have to do this kind of balancing act with the buttons and the d-pad it's it's genuinely not fun so if you're able to get enjoyment out of this and you want to just sort of get because i would say this is worth about 20 bucks 20 or 30 bucks if i'm just speaking candidly um yeah pick one up and also you can find online it's what i'm in the process of doing now haven't really gotten around to it but um emulation of other consoles it's pretty easy to throw roms onto it if 
if you see it over there, I have a thumbstick. Um, Silent Rob brought up, he was like, there's not enough internal memory on the PlayStation Classic itself to store more games on. Um, just use a thumbstick. Uh, get yourself a 32 or 64 gig thumbstick. They're not that expensive anymore. And just throw a bunch of ROMs on it. Uh, look up some tutorials on how to do it, and that would definitely make it worth it. Because this is just, it's a Raspberry Pi shaped like a PlayStation that you can get for 20 bucks. At least at Best Buy. I, I'm not sure how much it's really retailing at Target or uh, Amazon or Walmart or anywhere else. So, yeah, it comes with two controllers, which I expect it to only have one because I think it was either IGN or GameFAQs or something that said this does the bare minimum. Which is funny because IGN, they usually give pretty good reviews to just about everything. And they were even like, yeah, this thing sucks. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for it. Um, buy it if you want. Uh, if you just want to buy a Raspberry Pi and throw some uh, emulators on there, some Super Nintendo emulators and anything like that, go ahead. That's pretty much it. See ya.